Here's uh, part two of uh, how to buy a trailer, and this is more of a kind of behind the scenes of, or maybe a day in the life of a trailer dealer who really takes a look and makes sure that your trailer that you're buying is ready to go. And um, this is one here that if you saw the other video, I had to put this trim lock on here because the they didn't cut the nose guard here smoothly. It looked like they tried to cut it with a shovel. You saw that it wasn't a straight cut. Um, if you look over here at this Doolittle here. The cut is just much straighter and smoother. So I had to put that on and then all of our trailers we test the lights on them and the lights on this guy were not working and I narrowed it down to a to a short underneath here and I'll show you what I had to do to get that fixed. Ah, there it is. See it flashing. Right there. Let's see if I can get that to happen again. Anyway, you can take my word for it. There's a there's a short there and, and I'm showing you this here just to kind of get take a have you guys uh, take a look at what's all involved to prep a trailer and make sure you guys don't have an issue when you take it home. And this doesn't matter if you're buying from any trailer manufacturer, although some trailer manufacturers do just a little bit more diligence in wiring them. And I'll show you what I mean here. So this particular trailer. I had to take this whole side panel out, which was pretty easy to do. But uh, the way it got fed through here, down below, is where I narrowed the short to, and it was just a pinch um, as they fed it through there. Which is happens um, some some brands more than others. Um, there's actually another issue here. You can see that the ground wire, you see that ground wire there? That conjunction, so you see how that ground wire is loose? So um, a pinch coming through and that right there. You can see it, let me see if I could zoom in. There, that was the cause of the flickering. So two issues on this one here. Um, after I loosened up the board, light started to work, but then jiggling it there, and ground wire was loose. So in their attempt to make a trailer faster, they added about another two hours of work on my side. Now while we have this thing apart, I'm gonna show you guys something else kind of a big differentiator. See if I could zoom into this here a little better. So the inside of a trailer, so when we talk about 3 8 wall, this is the 3 8 plywood wall. Many manufacturers don't even put plywood on here, they'll put Luon. This is the Luon right here. So imagine that here. Now another big thing that's changed recently for almost every single manufacturer, I don't care who you're buying it from, is they went from a square tube frame to this little Z-bar. It's called a Z because it looks like a Z. You got one face, another face, and then another face. So there's three pieces that make the vertical on it. All in an attempt to save a little money putting a trailer together. Now it's obviously not as sturdy. Um, as a square tube, but once it's all back together, or together just like if you were putting together a metal shed, it's not finished until it's all squared and put in, or even a house, it's not sturdy until all the corners are in. So although this looks flimsy, and trust me, I still don't feel good about it, this is the change almost every manufacturer. About two or three years ago, every manufacturer had a square tube that looked like this. Now they still have it up here on the roof. Now there is one manufacturer that still 
makes square tube frames, which is why we are moving most of ours to this brand, which is uh, Doolittle. Kind of make fun of them with their name. I tell everyone you can do more with a Doolittle because it's way sturdy. Now, I can't quite show you. I took this piece off in the other video, but trust me, behind here is a square tube. All four sides, square tube, one inch verticals. As far as I know, the only manufacturer right now, unless you get a stock trailer that has a square tube vertical. But anyway, so that's what that means when we talk about the verticals and, and what it looks like underneath. I still stand behind this trailer, this construction just needs to be put together correctly. And then for the folks that are always not sure about how far to go, so this is about a one inch and you can see down there, those are the screws, those longer ones are the screws for the wheel well. And even with them being an inch, they still have not penetrated this wall. So that's what it looks like on the inside. If you wanted to, you could do what I just did here and get one inch foam board, put it in here, or open this up and spray it. But this is how it looks like from the inside. And a very big difference. Square tube versus a Z-bar. And then for the folks that are getting, if you're buying a Hallmark or a, a Wells or a Look or a Cargo Craft, um, unless it's been upgraded, it is probably a Luon wall and an OSB floor. So this is what plywood looks like construction wise. And as far as I know now, you could only get a square tube frame for the verticals from Doolittle. You can kind of see here what this looks like. I can't do that. Can't do that with the Doolittle. Now, of course, with the wall screwed into here, you won't be able to turn it like I just am. So it's very rigid when the walls are up. But anyway, that's what a trailer's trailer dealer is doing at 6:30 on a Thursday. They're trying to make sure their trailers look good and all the wiring and everything else. This trailer actually had a whole bunch of other work done to it. We went uh, straight across with the screws for the door straps here because of this four foot door. Usually they are not like this, they're countersunk. Um, some additional adjustments on this door were necessary. And the trim, so if you look at the other videos, I had to do all that work just to get it ready to go. So once I put that back in and ground that, or firmly screw in that ground wire, we'll be good to go on this one. So there it is. Kind of uh, some stuff behind the scenes of getting a trailer ready for you guys. Thank you.